The bold move has paid off. The compact Maverick pickup is already making a significant impact and catalyzing revolutionary changes in the truck market. Other companies are now following suit, with the Toyota Stout and Chevy Montana slated to debut in the U.S. next season. Ford remains determined to stay ahead, with the 2025 Maverick set to receive its first mid-cycle update. The pickup drew the attention with its affordable price, practicality, efficiency, and innovative styling. The 2025 facelift is going to make the Maverick even more attractive. Here is what it brings. The refresh begins at the front fascia, where the new Maverick is set to receive an eye-catching update, featuring new grille designs and streamlined LED lights. Fresh color options are always welcome, and Ford is not yet unveiling all the hues for the 2025 model year. The side profile enhances the truck's aggressive yet aerodynamic appearance, keeping the practicality as the top priority. The new Maverick improves the airflow, boosts the efficiency, and the cabin is going to be more quiet. That's why we'll see sloped windshield and sharper side lines from front to rear fenders. The interior of the 2025 Ford Maverick is packed with the latest technology. The focus is on the practicality, with storage compartments available wherever it is possible. The base version features an 8-inch touchscreen, while all the upper trims are now offering a larger 12-incher. The cabin was already upscaled, so minor tuning will make it more comfortable and safer. A 2.0-liter turbo Ford engine remains the base choice with 250 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque. Although compact, the truck can tow 4,000 pounds, which is quite respectable output. The only rival. Hyundai Santa Cruz can do 5,000 pounds. We might see improvements here. Gas mileage is a strong side with 27 miles per gallon combined, rising to 36 with a hybrid setup. However, in this case, you sacrifice power and towing capacity. Since Maverick Hybrid can haul only 2,000 pounds, it can be fixed if a more potent plug-in hybrid shows up. The truck is using the same platform as the Escape, but the crossover already deploys a plug-in setup. With it, a power boost can increase towing capacity, and you'll have the option to drive using electric power alone. The electric-only range for such a pickup will be between 35 and 40 miles. The Maverick was initially designed as an urban pickup with high efficiency ratings, and it offered only three trim levels. Following its tremendous success, the company plans to expand the lineup with an off-road configuration being one of the most likely additions. Optional FX4 package is just not enough, although it brings a bit of excitement with an all-wheel drive, tow hooks, additional ride modes, and skid plates. Also, forget about the Raptor. It is just not a good fit with such a small vehicle. Instead, the 2025 Ford Maverick could introduce the trimmer package with a lifted suspension, rock crawl mode, and leather upholstery for the cabin. Also, there is a big gap between the XLT and Lariat trims in the current lineup, leaving room for another model to fit in. Maverick is a pioneer of the new wave of pickup trucks, with its only competitor being the Hyundai Santa Cruz, powered by a 2.5-liter turbo 4 engine that delivers more power and offers higher towing capacity. Still, Ford Maverick is a better choice overall. In 2025, it will face more rivals. The Toyota Stout is certainly a pickup to keep an eye on, anticipated as one of the most exciting vehicles for the upcoming season. The Rampage isn't a compact model, but the Ram 1200 could potentially fill that vacant spot in the lineup. General Motors is yet to announce their plans, and we might see the Chevy Montana as their entry into the burgeoning segment of the pickup truck industry. Ford will update the Maverick, but the base price should stay around $34,000. Hybrid is a $1,500 upgrade, but thanks to a gas mileage boost, you'll recoup that cost quickly. The XLT is a recommended trim priced only $2,500 above the base version, but offering a lot more. A new trim level should fit between it and Lariat, with a tag around $30,000. Off-road configuration won't save you money, either on an initial purchase or through a hybrid engine, which will be unavailable for Tremor.